welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Marauder Improbulator, which is going to be our next deck. This is going to be Interrative Improvement with Legion Marauders and a whole bunch of threes. So Legion Marauders, if you don't know this card, it's going to be three mana that whenever it attacks, you um, grant all of your allied Legion Marauders everywhere plus one plus one. So basically it's a three mana three two, but if you attack, it turns into a four three. But then also any other copy of Legion Marauder you have anywhere else is also going to be getting the plus one plus one. So having extra copies of Legion Marauder is going to be pretty good. And that's where our interrative improvement comes in, being able to pick our Legion Marauder, create an additional copy of it in hand. It also starts with another plus one, plus one as well, but then, um, you know, get more plus one, plus ones whenever we attack. So that's part of our deck, but then our other part of our deck is going to be playing three mana cards with Tribeam and Probulator. Tribeam and Probulator, of course, deals one to a unit and you summon a random one cost follower but you also increase it by one while it's in hand for every time you play a three cost card. So that means that we're gonna want a lot of three cost cards and we are going all in on the three cost cards. Half of the deck, 20 cards costing three mana. And that doesn't also include the interrative improvements that can create more copies of our three cost followers and to be able to play those, we can have even more three cost cards. So we are going, um, you know, we're taking this improbulator and pushing it way up with the 20, kind of plus three, basically the 23 cards that, uh, you know, are, are three cost cards. And then, of course, going with Legion Marauder and Interrative Improvement as well. So we got we got some good memes in here because it's meme tier day. And uh, we're going to have survival skills that can make sure our Legion Marauders don't die. This is a, a card that we can discard to Draven Spitting Axe. So that's a nice little combination there. We have Cato the Arm that can give him Overwhelm, or Sumpworks Map that can give him Elusive if they get very big. We uh, have the ability to draw Draven more often by having a couple Draven's biggest fans to start the game. And we even have the Arachnoid Sentry uh, Ravenous Flock combo. We got that in here too. Got a little bit of everything. All right, so it's Marauder Improbulator time. Let's go have some fun. We're gonna go play it in normal with it being Meme Tier Monday. Ooh, playing against the most popular deck. Okay, so we're gonna have Draven right away. And then also like the Sump Dredger survival skills combos. So we got those combos, so that's good. So I think I'm gonna keep those three. Sharpened Resolve, uh, I don't know. We'll just go ahead and mulligan it. I wanna keep these together. And we got a Kato. Tribune and Probulator, of course, would be a good draw. Hey, Harvey. Oh, you came over here to get pet? Um, I will play House Spider. Hey. Over here. Whoa, brand new Twitch Prime sub, Raymundo. Raimundo Roinks. <laughs> Roinks. That's a fun word to say. Wow, look at that. We played one Scorched Earth, and we can kill that uh, Plaza. What a top deck. We got that, that sub luck. That's what that was. Raimundo Ray giving us that sub luck with that top deck. We only need just that one Scorched Earth. That's all you need. Don't need a second. So I know I could discard survival skills, but we don't necessarily need to. I'll just pass. They just get a they get to block my attack for this turn. Slow down, will you? Will ya? The survival skills could be really useful on defense if they have, you know, like a hecker I'm attacking and like all this stuff attacking and we make nothing die and then swing back at them. Could be super useful in that respect. I could go Katarina, Blade's Edge, and have the Blade's Edge kill the Grizzled Ranger. What are you waiting for? I, I, kill but I also kind of want to play the Kato. 
I don't really need a second Katarina. play you but you're cool Watch and learn. I can't play you if I want to play uh, four mana Katarina again but maybe I don't need to do that maybe I just go some treacher and Legion Marauder which means I would do those first let's have some fun Oh wait, I needed that card for the survival skills. Guns are a coward's weapon. Right, I needed that. Axes coming right up. Right. All right, get it back. <laughs> They'll never know what killed them. So that's going to be a good way to take down their Lucian, that they're going to be surprised a boot. Gotta be kidding me. Seven, eight mana for next turn. So we'll have Katarina and Whirling Death next turn. Could play another Legion Marauders instead of Whirling Death. I guess we do it on the Draven. The so we can maybe level up Draven. Oh wait. Okay, so that's only the oh, that's only this one can't drop below one health this round. That's not all of my cards. Right, I should I should learn like how what my cards do. I should probably read them. Okay. Well. Don't necessarily want to go to five. It's like my first time playing survival skills. I'll get used to it. <laughs> but I wasn't wasn't quite there yet. Alright, I'll buff those up plus two plus two each, so now they're five fours. So that looks a lot better. That's a good win. That's a good deck that we just beat. That that Lucian Plaza deck. We had that Scorched Earth really won us that game. Top decking that Scorched Earth to take down the Plaza. That was huge. But then that survival skills blocking the Lucian. That was really huge also. Oh, sorry. Okay, prediction restarted. This time we're playing against They Who Endure. Sunpark Smack could be really good against They Who Endure, um, how they have like the blockers, especially with multiple attacks. Um, so this could be a pretty decent late game. Um, yeah, I mean, we could kind of just keep all of this, honestly. 
You know, we make the spinning axe with Draven, we discard that spinning axe to some treasure. I'm going to be holding Arachnoid Sentry until they have They Who Endure. So we'll be holding that for a while. Could go Katarina this next turn with the Blade's Edge and try to Blade's Edge the Spark Beast. I must get out of here. Maybe I should do that. Never. This would be one spell mana and not even a single card, right? Because it's just a created card of one spell mana to take out a 3-3. Three, three. They can, of course, glimpse beyond like their hapless aristocrat if they would like to keep that alive. Which is why I don't want to do this during combat. I don't want to allow them to block with the hapless ar aristocrat on the Katarina first and then glimpse beyond it. Five damage in. Katarina back to my hand. Honestly, a little surprised the 3 2 doesn't trade with the 2 2 when you're playing a They Who Endure deck. I think you just want to trade stuff. So a little surprised they don't trade there. But yeah, it could, could definitely mean Caretaker since they're not trading. Yeah, it's probably Caretaker. Yeah, Sharper and Resolve, not the best. Like, if it's 2 mana plus 2 plus 2, it would be a lot better than 3 mana plus 3 plus 2. That shows how good, like, Sharp Sight is, right? Sharp Sight being plus 2 plus 2 and Block Elusives. That's, that's just better than plus 3 plus 2 anyway, and, and it costs less mana than this does. Yeah, Sharp Sight's really good. Like, two two mana for, like, those pump spells is exactly where you want it to be. Three mana starts getting a little too expensive. Unless it's something that's, like, game-winning. Like, Might can be game-winning. Let's do this. I was kind of planning on playing Dredger, but I guess not. <laughs> if you could change one card in the game, you'd make Hush four mana. Sure. If I could only change one card in the game, I'm not sure what I would change. Like besides, you know, maybe it's just Grand Plaza. Maybe it's Go Hard. Where are you? Maybe it's Pill Cascade. Ooh, survival skills is interesting. think survival skills is going to keep everything alive. That's not how this card works. It's only the strongest ally. Coming right up. So I kind of wish I would have just sent sentry this, you know, sentry flocked the Callista. I'm attacking with everything, hoping that Callista blocks something, and then we can flock the Callista. I guess they'll count Katarina as the larger thing than some treasure. 
See, Axe the Dredger doesn't really work. Because the, the survival skills will happen first. So that doesn't really work. See, survival skills happens first before the axe does. So I couldn't just do that. So I'm just going to give it the plus three, plus two. Does this... Will this work on the Draven? I guess we can find out. Now we're cooking. Guess not. You know, I was hoping that, you know, since it already had... It already had this one, that it would go to the other one. But now we know that that doesn't work. Good to know. But unfortunately, I went to that one twice. Alright, we'll stun flock that thing. We'll play Sump Dredger. And next turn, we'll have two Katarinas. Yeah, the more you know. You know, it's just meme day playing in normal. Like, there's. Uh, it's good to try out stuff like that. So that went really well for them, you know, getting that attack in that got them the extra mistrace, and then obviously... <laughs> How do we have no three cost cards in hand with this tribeam? beam um, And then obviously me just completely wasting that survival skills. Sure. Not okay. That one is not okay. And they just use they just wasted an atrocity, so that it's gotta mean they have another atrocity. I would think. No going well, this game's... This game's over now. But, at least we learned stuff. Yeah, we haven't seen a Scorched Earth yet. We could top deck that one of Scorched Earth. Alright, GG's. Okay, over to Ezreal Swain. He's going to try to kill all of our stuff. Okay, we got Tribune Probulator. Good. Um, this hand's actually pretty decent. And House Spider's probably just fine. You know, like, that's... You know, do we want to keep House Spider? Because we'll have Draven on three. 
Um, yeah, House Spider is probably just fine to play on turn two. Time for the main event. This would be a great time to draw um, the survival skills. Like, we play Draven next turn, they, you know, kill it with whatever Swain Ezreal is going to kill it with. And then we, you know, respond with the Spinning Axe survival skills. That would be clutch. We did not get it. Um, yeah, I still play this. Me too, kiddo. Me too. Even though they are likely going to kill it, it forces them to. Oh, that is not killing it. That is not killing it at all. That is not killing it. Death doesn't scare me. I don't know what else was in their hand, but if they had no better play than that, I'd be surprised. Legion Marauder! Let's go! Yeah, that would have been a better play last turn. Which, obviously, they had that card in their hand last turn. Awesome. Alright, got him down to six. That was a lot of damage. That's a good draw. That can protect my Legion Marauders. Cool, morning tea time. Glad to, glad to know, yeah, that's... Um, I was going to ask about that. About maybe making changes to the Ballistic Set 20 deck. Oh yeah, we're going to get some huge Tri-Beam value for sure. We're, we're already at deal 5. I am Cedric, yes. Make that deal 6. Cute, so they can't just Mystic Shot my Legion Marauders and kill it. Now it's deal 7. Oh, man! That would have been awesome. We hit Rekindler. Oh, that was really cool. We hit Rekindler that would have gotten... Um, Oh, that's too bad, yo. That would have put another Draven in play. You dare oppose Noxus. Just gonna do that before before the game ends. We get a second Legion Marauder. Man, Rekindler, that would have been great. Oh, that would have been great. We'll take the win, though. What do we have? We got a bunch of stuff going on here. We have all sorts of champions. Five of them. I don't know if they're bringing their singleton deck. Maybe. I like... House Spider's good. I'll keep this. I don't know. All of our cards are good. You know, I just keep keeping my hand because all of our songs are good. Or all of our hands are good. All of our cards are good. Oh, I got you, Cedric. Well, thank you so much. Yeah, thanks for being here. Glad you've been enjoying the stream. Form up. One of 
what am I going to do with you, Interrative Improvement? Time for the main we can get a whole bunch of Arachnoid Sentries and keep stunning stuff and keep them from blocking. That could be kind of cool. A Demacian soldier is worth tenfold. I really want a like a fact check on this Vanguard Sergeant. One Demacia soldier worth ten foes? I want to see where he's getting his numbers from. Yeah, I love it when y'all talk in chat and everything. Like, Potato and, you know, Cedric just joining in. Um, yeah, I mean, it... Oh, what is this? Alright, I guess that's just gonna happen. I can't really stop that. But I can get a new Draven, Draven back. Down. I kinda wanna play a Vanguard Sergeant. Let's do that. Let's play 4-4 Vanguard Sergeant. 4-4 is blocked. 2-2 two is the 3-3s. Three Kato? Is it Kate O'Clock? But yeah, I was saying that I, I love whenever y'all talk in, in chat because it, it makes my life a lot be better. And, you know, it's it, y'all are entertaining. Like, y'all entertain me. And that's a lot of fun. So I love it when y'all are talking in chat. Let's go with it. Let's go Kate O'Clock. I don't think they'll really have, like, a five mana card that can make this a bad play. They can have, like, some kind of, like, pump spell, like a Repost, for example. Put on the House Spider. Make that thing a 5 2. We march. we march as one. Show them our An unstoppable force. I'm sorry, I have some spinning axes, of course, so we can make this Vanguard Sergeant a little bit bigger. I have a trade with Garen. That's a good trade. Wasn't me. My time has come. <laughs> we can do this. Ooh. That card's good. Let's go find Draven. Iterative, not inter okay, I I'm pronouncing it interative. It's Iterative. A beacon in battle. A beacon in battle. All right. Well, obviously, I love that. Oh wait, I think it's not damaged yet. I love they did that. Uh, I guess we just do the one cost, the one damage. We'll say we'll hold on to the two damage one. I get a two cost follower. That's probably more valuable than a one cost follower. Yeah. That wasn't exactly my plan this turn, but opportunity presented itself. Hey, kiddo. Dig your kid up. Now I can either have um, Improbulator for three or Sentry. Looks like Sentry. No blocking for you. And we're three and one. All me. And maybe those other guys. What yeah, those other guys helped. Alright, Garen Ash. Frozen Demacia. This is probably going to be another um, another deck with the Grand Plaza. I already have a Draven, so I maybe don't need a Draven's Biggest Fan, but a Draven's Biggest Fan does help me kind of curve out. One, two, three. I'll just keep it. One mana, two, one. Alright, yeah. The 
Channel point predictions are up if y'all haven't seen that. Time for the main event. You think Sentry was a mulligan? So my thought here, the reason why I want to keep Sentry is because I thought that I would be ahead with this nice pressure with the, the one drop, two drop, three drop that I'd be ahead and that Sentry could take out a block, you know, could keep them from blocking and really help um, just push more damage across. Especially with having the attack token on turn four. Maybe, I, you know, I, I play Draven on their turn on turn three. Then on my turn, I go Sentry, get rid of a blocker, attack. That's what I was thinking. The Grand Plaza. Could also just go Marauder and then open attack with Marauder. I mean, what's the difference? Yes, I, I could have Mulligan Draven because then I would have drawn it, but then what's the difference? I would just draw the random card anyway, right? Like, what's the difference of keeping it or not keeping it? As far as drawing you, like, I, I end up with a Draven and a random card either way. I think it's Draven getting more spinning axe. That's not the easiest one, though. It does feel like I'm supposed to play something first. So if I attack, we do six to them, put them down to 11. That's fine. I will take that. Single combat's a super valuable card, and they just wasted it on a 2-2 spider. So that's pretty good. I still dealt the exact same amount of damage to them. And yeah, that was that was a good turn for me. For king and country. Look, everyone. Captain Dull. This also kind of helps out how I can like spinning axe and discard the blade's edge first. Axes coming right up. And then spinning axe and then discard survival skills if, if we need to make something else the, the thing with the most power. Okay. I want this Katarina to strike. And return back to my hand. Violence solves everything. Try beam improbulator after I already cast all my threes. One mana 6-6 six, six challenger, that is so good. The trap is set. I'm through waiting. Break their ranks. Time for the money makers. Do I You hoping they'll die of boredom? Have you block? The answer is no. Never block. <laughs> so the green thing mean is the survival skills, which means the Draven cannot drop below one health this round. Never. I 
we'll level up Draven. What's my name? Yeah, that's a new thing with this this expansion. I'm thinking they're gonna have to have like harsh wins again. Oh, right, that card. Still fine. I think it's gonna be a 6 6. Yeah, I guess I was just, I was kind of focused on harsh wins being the thing. We're still fine though. The elusive Katarina. The elusive Katarina. No one expects the elusive Katarina. All right, and there we go. That's a 4-1 uh, Marauder in Probulator. All right, so our deck was pretty sweet. I mean, we just had like some really cool cards in here. Katarina is a lot of fun to play. Legion Marauder is a lot of fun. Um, you know, Draven, you get to do some cool stuff with the Spinning Axe. I have to say that Survival Skills was awesome, especially with Spinning Axe. That was really cool. It took me a little bit, it took me a game to figure out exactly what this card did, because I kept on thinking that I would discard it, and then it would be all of my allies can't drop below one health, but it's only the strongest. So it took me a game. <laughs> I had to read the card. <laughs> um, but that was, that card looked really strong. It honestly did, multiple times. Uh, you know, like they have like their double attack Lucian that we just have our survival skills and get to block it and kill it. That was really nice. Or being able, like they have a, a good attack, like we saw that last game. They have a good attack. I get to block and say that my my thing, like my Draven can't die. And then I get to play Katarina and I get to attack again with my now unit that still can't die. Um, that combination of that you know, having that survival skills with the Katarina so it can affect multiple combats in one singular turn was really powerful. That was really cool. I was actually kind of surprised at how little we we got to do stuff with Improbulator. We did get that Rekindler with an Improbulator one time. That was really cool. But I didn't, I just wasn't really drawing it, right? I didn't see it in my opening hand. I wasn't really mulliganing too much because all of our cards are awesome. We did, we did have Draven's Biggest Fan and House Spider in our opening hands quite a bit. And so I wanted to keep those, considering those were our only two early plays. So it didn't it didn't look so bad because we had those in our hand so often. Sharpen Resolve, eh, you know, it's it's pretty meh. It it does increase the health, so it can help protect units against removal spells. It can do that, um, and so it's it's good against removal spells. Um, Might is you know maybe going to be a little bit better against like like blockers where you want to finish out games. But, you know, it's it's fine. You know, we need we want just another three mana spell in here for Improbulator. That's why it's in here. Um, there we go. That's Legion, Marauder, Tribeam, Improbulator, Interative, uh, Improvement, combining them all together for a spicy one. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And, of course, leave those comments. Let me know what you think of this deck. What else do you want to see on uh, Meme Tier Monday next week? Um, anything like that. Love seeing those comments. All right, but that's all I got here for this one. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.